Rome, the capital of Italy and the Roman Empire, is the country's largest city. It's centrally located in Western Italy and its history spreads over 2,000 years. Hi, I'm Bonnie DeShong. I'm Javon Harley. This is the Traveling Eye for BlackAtlas.com from American Airlines. Immediately after arriving in Italy, we couldn't wait to see the sights with our group. We began touring right after arriving with only enough time to check into our room and freshen up. First stop, a walk around the outside of the Colosseum. We're here in front of the Colosseum. Now, the Colosseum was built in eight years. The construction started in 72 AD and was completed in 80 AD. Now, what was going on inside the Colosseum, during the day, they would have exotic animals fight each other. And then the headliner was in the afternoon when the gladiators would come and duke it out. Now, Hollywood tells us that when the emperor decided whether the loser of the gladiators would live or die, he would be thumbs up for live, thumbs down for die. But in actuality, it was thumbs up for live and sideways for die. Next on our agenda was a stop at the famous Trevi Fountain. We're here in front of the Trevi Fountain, and obviously this is the place to be. They say that if you throw a coin into the fountain, then you'll return back to Rome. Trevi Fountain is a beautiful piece of art that was completed in 1762 by Niccoli Salvi. He was commissioned by Pope Clement XII. It took 30 years to be completed. Half the fun is jockeying for a position to throw your coin in, a tradition of legend that doesn't seem to be lost on anyone. Another must-see is the Spanish Steps, or Piazza de España. The steps ascend to the French church Trinita de Monti. At the bottom of the steps is Fontana de la Bacaccia, the fountain, shaped like a small boat. The 137 steps sectioned in three tiers begs a climb to the top for a fantastic view of Rome and the square below. Or you can just sit and enjoy the view. After our day of touring, the hunger pain started knocking. We gathered the group and headed for Renovatio La Sofita for dinner. La Sofita is a small restaurant, as most are in Italy, and is located near the Vatican. When in Rome, well, you know the rest. We had a traditional five-course meal with antipasti, pasta, a main course, and we finished it all with a beautiful dessert. No trip to Rome would be complete without a visit to the Vatican City and museums. There are currently 13 Vatican museums that make up the complex, housing works of art through the centuries. The architecture, the paintings, the tapestries, the history, ah, the serenity. In St. Peter's Basilica, there's Bernini's throne with the Holy Spirit shining through, and St. Peter buried 50 feet below there's just one thing we had to do at St. Peter's Basilica. They say if you rub the feet of St. Peter that your wish comes true. And it comes true 50% of the time. <laughs> We were lucky enough to be there during a cardinal convention and found ourselves in the midst of a parade of cardinals with very styles and swagger. Yes, I said swagger. One had on a fedora. How great is that? Perfect timing. We're here in the Vatican City and we just had a parade of cardinals. Okay, Bonnie, since we're standing in front of a confessional, do you have anything you want to admit to at this time? Not inside the Vatican. <laughs> I'm going to keep it till I get back to Chicago. <laughs> One of the highlights of our visit to St. Peter's Basilica was walking around St. Peter's Square. If you're lucky enough to be there on a Wednesday, you can join Mass during the general audience with the Holy Father. Obviously, we're not there on a Wednesday, but the feeling was just the same. From the beginning of our tour outside of the cathedral to the end finishing with Swiss guards colorfully clad, we were enthralled. 
Rome certainly was not built in a day. There are so many beautiful things to see, but we just had to save time for shopping. Another thing Italy is known for. Our hotel, Giulio Cesare, or Julius Caesar to us, is not only walking distance to the Vatican City, it's just steps away to great shopping. Nope. Not that kind, <laughs> that's wishful thinking. The everyday kind with great finds and Italian fashions at affordable prices. As fabulous as Rome is, and as much as we hated to say goodbye, we gathered our group to continue our adventure of Italy. One of the best modes of transportation when you're in Europe is to take the train. And we're on the high-speed train in a first-class car. In just under two hours, we left Rome and we'll be in Florence. Or as they say in Italy, Florence. We'll see you in Florence on our next Traveling Eye Adventure for BlackAtlas.com from American Airlines.